Hello, I'm Dr. Aaron Thompson. I'm the president of the Kentucky Council on Post-Secondary Education. And my presentation is being a transformative president, how to lead diversity, inclusion, and equity at your institution. When we think about issues that we're dealing with now and preparing for the workforce, when we think about issues that we're dealing with now, preparing for a democracy that fully works, if we're thinking about all of those items, we have to have a higher education that is not only keeping up with today's time, but actually, you know, 10 years down the road. So we have to transform. Staying status quo, if we're still doing exactly the same thing we were doing two years ago, we're behind time. Staying status quo with the gaps that still exist, we're behind time. Staying status quo, preparing our lectures, preparing uh, our curriculum, delivering our curriculum in the same fashion that we did a year ago. Yes, we have to transform. I think you're gonna learn many things. I'm gonna break it down to two levels. One is I will take you through a process of understanding who you are as a leader. If you're focusing on the right things within your institution, if you're willing to lead it at a change level to be systematic in doing it. So I'm going to look at you. We're going to look at you. We'll look at me too. But number two, we're going to look at how your institution becomes the footprint it needs to become in areas of innovation, especially around equity and inclusion and diversity. We're going to look at how to operationalize it in a way that you can move what you need to move. If it's closing gaps, how do we make that happen? If it's recruiting people of color, how do we make that happen? We're going to be looking, though, at that leadership element that sometimes we forget about, that continuous piece that forces us to understand the level of knowledge we have about leading an institution, the level of knowledge we have about serving those in our institutions, no matter what background they're from, and the level of knowledge we need to have in creating an empathetic, emotionally intelligent faculty and staff to serve anybody that would come to our campus and know that they will not feel like an immigrant once they get there. So come to the table with the realization that you don't know everything and neither do I, but as a collective, as people who serve in these leadership spots, we should be arguing for innovation within ourselves as well as our institution. I would argue you should come uh, for a lot of reasons, but let me put it in perspective because I know in my position, in the position I had been a president on the campus, yeah, I'm looking at how to improve what I do. I'm looking at how to get better learning, deeper learning, more learning. Um, how to get people through faster with a quality certificate or a degree. I'm looking to make sure that I don't leave anybody behind. So you'll learn how we did this in Kentucky at the very minimum. But I'll also talk with you about what we need to do and how to focus on it and how to convince a wide range of people who may not want to go along with you that they should go along with you. In other words, how to not only just set the vision and the process of achieving it, but also how to be of service to others to have them go with you in order to achieve it.